Hi, so my name is Ali Jones. I'm the social prescribing link worker for Pendle East. Uh, I'm employed by CVS, Burnley Pendle Rossendale CVS, and I work closely with the neighbourhood team for Pendle East Primary Care Network. Um, we've done a lot of work over the last year with people who are struggling with COVID, and this particular client I just wanted to tell you about. She she was referred in by a Pendle Council by the emergency um, programme. Um, I, when I first went to see her, she was mainly struggling with her medication. It wasn't being delivered anymore and she couldn't get up to the pharmacy um, because she was shielding and also because she had really serious COPD and couldn't walk that far. So for a couple of times I delivered her medication and then I contacted a colleague in the PCM, um, Alice who's the community pharmacist here, and he arranged and sorted all her medication to be delivered, sorted all that out with the pharmacist. Um, pretty quickly after doing that initial assessment, I realised that she was not really getting any extra benefits. It seemed to me that she would be entitled to more and she didn't know what to claim and didn't even know that she might be entitled to some more. So I made a referral into AGK Lanks, who were also a part in, within the neighbourhood team here. And Shahid Salim went out to see her. Um, and helped her run through all the things she might be entitled to. And she was actually entitled to attendance allowance. Um, and so I saw her a couple more times and did some work around coaching about, about being afraid of going out, being afraid of COVID. So worked on her confidence. Um, she made a bubble with her brother. Um, and so they were able to keep in, in contact in a way that she hadn't really th thought she could before. Um, and she was really pleased with this. Um, so as that was as that was happening, her, pip, her attendance allowance went through. And, and when it all came to the end, she was actually entitled to about £150 a week more um, than she was originally getting. And... And that was the most amazing outcome for her because she'd been struggling financially for quite a long time and also really struggling with her health condition. Didn't really know where to turn or, or even that she was entitled to something else. And when we finished working with her, which took about three months altogether, um, her confidence was quite high. She hadn't been as lonely as she'd felt. She wasn't scared of going out in the way that she had been after she'd been shielding. In medication was all sorted. She'd had some intervention from the integrated therapy team for home oxygen, which was really helping her health condition. Um, and she was also she was also had enough money to pay for taxis to go to places if she needed to go, and also to pay all her bills and make her feel much more secure um, where she was living. And she said to me at the end of the whole thing that she, she doesn't now know how she managed before and, and felt that she wasn't managing before. And she said all of us were absolutely brilliant and she couldn't have been more pleased with the outcome. She said it changed her life and it also helped the life of her brother as well because they were able to really support each other through COVID. Now, if she's got any problems going forward, she's got our number and um, she knows who to contact. And she said it's given her a feeling of, real confidence and also safety and security um, and so it's a great outcome and it's about teamwork and all of us working together around that person and so the voluntary services the health services the associated neighborhood services all work together around that person and she got a fantastic outcome that really improved her health and her well-being